blood cells coated with immunoglobulin, as in hemolytic anemia and hemolytic disease of a fetus and newborn, can be expected to have a positive direct antiglobulin test. Accordingly, these cells cannot be tested for their surface antigens by an indirect antiglobulin test without first dissociating the immunoglobulin from the surface of the red blood cell. Immucor's EDTA glycine acid kit, also known as EGA or EGA, is used to dissociate IgG from red blood cells so that the treated red blood cells can be antigen tested or used for other serologic procedures. It is notable that the EGA treatment inactivates the antigens of the KEL blood group system, as well as ERA, BG, and possibly others. Technologists may use this kit with the objective of destroying these antigens to aid in antibody identification. I'll now demonstrate the EGA test kit. Prior to coming on camera, a sample of coated red blood cells was washed three times and then resuspended to three to five percent. 30 drops of that three to five percent suspension was added to a test tube, centrifuged, and the supernatant removed. The packed red blood cells remain here. The first step is to place four drops of EGA solution one into a separate test tube. Next, add 16 drops of solution two to the same test tube. Then immediately add this suspension to the packed red blood cells. Mix gently and then allow this to incubate at room temperature for no longer than two minutes. After room temperature incubation, add four drops of EGA solution three directly to the cell mixture. Mix thoroughly and place into the centrifuge and spin. After centrifugation, remove the supernatant from the red cells and discard. Then wash the cells three times with saline. Perform a direct antiglobulin test on the treated cells. If the direct antiglobulin test is negative, all antibody bound to the red blood cells has been removed and the cells are sufficient for antigen typing or other serologic procedures. However, if the DAT test is positive on the treated cells, repeat the process with a new aliquot of cells and extend the incubation by increments of 15 seconds.